Hey, today we have MIP2 standard unit from Skoda, Skoda Multimedia. This is Skoda Bolero, I believe, MIP2 generation. And you can see that it's a pretty basic device. We have only one SD port. The other one is blanked out. Also, we don't have optical drive over here. It's also blanked out. We have those two holes for the uh, locks to remove this from the vehicle, to slide it out from the glove box. On the side we have the cooling fan over here and on the other side we have some uh, vents so there's an air circulation inside forced by the um, by the fan at the back we have a bunch of connectors this is quad lock connector it brings power um, audio output if you're using internal amplifier for audio output and we have those three sections as well for canvas communication with the vehicle with the display um, with um, reverse camera with auxiliary uh, audio input and um, microphone for the hands-free um, uh, phone function over here next we have most connection this is uh, uh, fiber optics it's used for um, external amplifier if you have sound, sound system or for a virtual instrument cluster if you want to send maps to those. But, uh, well, this unit is without navigation, so this was used for the external amplifier only. We have USB connector for the external media connection in your vehicle. We have LVDS for the um, display this sends the video image to the display and we have analog antenna connector over here as well and um, well since this unit is not equipped with navigation we don't have GPS connector over here and no other connections okay so to open it up this is the front panel so I will call this part of the front and this is the back to open it up you need to remove four screws from here and the fifth one which is hidden underneath the sticker this will void the warranty over here so keep that in mind and after those five are removed you can grab the top cover from the back pop it up slide it like this and put it on side and uh, since this device is not equipped with CD drive, we don't have the CD drive uh, obstructing our view. We don't need to remove it or disconnect it. We can just see the internals over here without a problem. When uh, we look inside, we can see the cooling fan that's actually over here. And um, this is the heat sink. And I believe underneath there are those uh, internal amplifiers, which require most cooling over here. That's if not mis if I'm not mistaken. Over here we have the SD board, which is half sized since we have just one SD uh, port over here. If this was an unit with um, navigation, we would have two ports and this board would be a little bit uh, bigger. Over here we have wireless connection board. This is for Bluetooth only in this uh, unit, I believe, but in the other units it might be combined Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. Over here on the sticker we can see that we have MAC address only for Bluetooth and no other MAC address over here, so I believe this is Bluetooth only. If, we, if it would be equipped with Wi-Fi, we would have MAC address for Wi-Fi um, network card as well. Not much over here and not much over here as well. Well, two things that I want to show you. If you look over here next to this screw, you have those two holes and you might want to bridge them together. This is to boot um, the J J5 uh, processor into the boot mode and over here next to the heatsink you have also two screws the two holes i'm sorry if you bridge them together you will boot the imx6 processor into the recovery mode so if you are looking for methods to repair the unit those two connections are the important important part okay and assembling it back it's pretty simple, assuming you don't have the CD drive that you need to put over here. You just need to place the cover like so. 
drop it and insert those one, two, three, four, five screws and you are done.